Hey, this is Max with Musician's Friend. We're here at Winter NAM 2018 in the Ableton booth chatting with Matt, brand manager for Ableton, about Ableton Live 10 coming out pretty soon. And we're going to look at some of the new features in Push 2. How you doing, Matt? Doing good. Good to be here with you guys today. Great. So why don't you walk us through some stuff in Push 2? Sweet. Yeah. So um, with Live 10, we actually have the biggest change to Push two since its inception uh, back in 2015. So there's just a lot here. And uh, let's go ahead and just dive in. Okay. So um, straight away, uh, we can go ahead and add a device. Uh, one of the new features in Live 10 is this new collections area. So if I go to these collections, I can actually pick from my own pre-assigned categories, a particular sample, a particular sound, a particular preset. So in this case, I have one called Chant Set. So I'm just going to pull in uh, something I designed with our new synth wavetable. Cool. So um, immediately here, we can see that uh, these wavetable oscillators are rendered directly on push two. Uh, we also have the filter slopes available to us right from push as well. So let me just play a chord. And we can actually see uh, the wave. We can see uh, where we're playing back at move on the wavetable in real time. And of course, you know, we can adjust our filters as well directly from here. So it's really nice just having more visualization available to us. And straight away, um, this keeps us away from the computer even more. It's more standalone than it has been. So uh, one of the new things that is really neat for Push 2 is this new sequencing mode. Um, so this one is called the sequencer in 32 note mode. Let me just get back to it real quick. And this is gonna allow me to sequence in entire chords. So I'm not limited to just a single note anymore. I could sequence in full chords and I can actually overdub with them as well. So uh, let me just go ahead and play a chord. So we have a nice, nice big chord and uh, I can start to sequence that in. And now if I press layout, I can move to my next two bars and I can select another chord. So let's choose another chord. So let's hear what this sounds like. And maybe one more chord to signify a turnaround. Great, and now I can select all four bars now. And now we have a sequence in, a sequence that's already going. So. Uh, I think the sequence sounds good, uh, but I want to make it maybe sound a little more natural, and I want to extend it out. Right now, everything is very kind of staccato-y in terms of the note on set. So luckily, uh, right here on Push 2, we can now edit MIDI directly from Push. Uh, another kind of game changer, I would say, especially for kind of Push Power users. So uh, what I can do here is I can just select a sequence in this clip we have going, and the display is going to zoom in, and it's going to allow me to do a couple things straight away. So I'm able to extend the length of the note, and I'm ex able to extend the velocity, and I can also nudge the note around. So uh, let's do this with a couple other chords. Um, I can nudge them back, make them come in a little early, and immediately what begins as kind of a drier sequence, um, really uh, can feel more humanized. So uh, I'm gonna extend these out. Uh, let's go to these next two bars here. I'll select them. Maybe I'll take these chords, we'll uh, extend the length. Maybe I'll take this chord, I'll uh, bring it forward, make it come in a little late, maybe add a little kind of swing feel to it. And I'll take this last chord and we'll really let it uh, ring out by extending its length. So let's hear this now. And we'll just start back at the one. Excuse me. Let's just select the right loop length. Perfect, OK. So already it feels a little more natural. Right. And uh, for me, this is actually quicker, <clears throat> excuse me, than actually uh, MIDI or editing velocity and note position. Uh, it's quicker now from push than with my mouse and keyboard, right. which I think is something we're all looking for uh, in computer music. So uh, let's go ahead and bring in another track here and I'll show you some of the other features for uh, Push 2 that came with Live 10's release. So um, I will add a track here or at a device. And let me actually, I'm just gonna load this one up from live just real quick. And we'll go back to my chant set and I'll just drag it in. Of course, we can do this from push two. Uh, no problem either way. So uh, let's go to devices here. And uh, I know what I was playing before was in C major. So uh, we still have this very cool scale feature so I can switch to the relative minor of C. So I can quickly go to the um, minor pentatonic, 
go to A, and now I'm in this key. So uh, let's hear what this sounds like. And there's these great new sampled sounds for Live 10, these awesome new curated sound packs. With uh, Suite, you get this new, um, this new keyboard pack with these really great uh, piano emulations as well. So. so let's hear this back in context, and I'll start to play something over it. Maybe throw the metronome, eh, we'll leave the metronome off. Great, okay, so I played in a piano part. I thought it sounded good. And uh, with Live 10, we had this new feature called Capture, and this is always listening to our MIDI input. So even if I don't press record, I can press the record button in new, and it's actually gonna capture my MIDI input up to 16,000 individual MIDI events, which translates to like three or four minutes of pre-roll. So you can really jam out. So let's hear that. And we can change the length here as well. But you know what, I'm gonna keep it at that two bars. I felt that the two bars that captured at the end actually sound the best here. So uh, let's go ahead and solo this. And I wanna show you another new device for Live 10 that's actually beautifully rendered on Push as well. So I will go to Add Device, we will go to Audio Effects, and I will bring in Echo. Now Echo is an all-in-one modulation delay. You can do kind of vintage and analog delay styles, but also something really modern. And uh, it includes this very cool new time tunnel. So this time tunnel is a visualization of our delay line, uh, and it, it's really nice to have visual feedback. I feel like this is an area where you switch parameters and you're hoping for the best with your sounds, but getting some visualization here is huge as well, so let's hear that. And we have this cool repitch as well. I can bump up the feedback and we see that reflect in the visuals as well. And of course we have these new filter visualizations too. Um, yeah, so it's really nice just having a little visual uh, input here. So Echo's really deep. Um, we have multiple types of delay modes as well. So right now I'm in mid-side. I think it's sounding good and we can offset it and get this kind of chorusy feel too. So that's a little bit of echo. And um, we have more visualizations. It's not just echo, it's not just wavetable. So if I wanna EQ out some of this uh, piano, I can do that as well. And so let's just bring in EQ8 real quick. We'll just take a default version. And now we can actually EQ directly from push. So let's play back and we should actually see our waveform rendered. Cool, so I'll go to band one and maybe I'll, I'll change the filter slope. We'll cut out a little bit of the low end here. And the nice thing is EQ8 actually goes down to 10 Hertz as well for people who thought they were losing some bass. Another one of the small but awesome features for Live 10. And yeah, so I can add another device here. We'll just do maybe one more. Um, and uh, we have visualization for the compressor now too. And it's really nice just to be able to see this. So I can really kind of bring in my ratio, lower my threshold, and we can actually see the effects of the compression directly from push. So once more, it's all just more things I can do to, to kind of step away from the computer and just uh, stay in the flow. Very cool. So uh, just to review again, this is going to be available early February is an update? Yeah, February 6th. Great. Okay, so this is obviously we've been concentrating just on Push 2 for the most part, but there's obviously tons of other really cool stuff in Ableton Live 10. Oh, so much, yeah. So we have uh, new features for arrangement view. We have multi-clip MIDI editing, which is a huge one for a lot of people. We have this great new pedal device uh, that gives you, it kind of, it fills out kind of our guitar rigs. Now we have tuner, amp cabinet, and now we have pedal as well for that analog grit. Uh, for you guitar players out there, and of course, with anything in live, put on whatever you want. It's gonna, it's gonna sound good. Um, so there's just a ton of changes and hundreds more. Uh, it, it really is deep. So you know, if you haven't tried live, check out the trial, and of course, if you have it, upgrade. And yeah, cool. Well, Matt, thank you so much. As he said, this should be out early February, February sixth. And uh, for more information, head to musiciansfriend.com. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thanks for being here.